probably the new high-end title for PC gaming, the one that really stresses, stresses your graphics hardware is Metro 2033. And uh, obviously expanding from a single monitor to three monitors is really just going to make that uh, that much worse, that much more dramatic of a performance hit. In fact, uh, NVIDIA is recommending, even in 2D mode, that the game run at 4800 by 900 as opposed to 5760 by 1800, uh, which is what we're running at here. AAA anti-aliasing, and uh, I think we're on high image quality settings as opposed to high, uh, very high. And uh, the game looks very good, the, the three panels. I feel like add a lot of kind of depth and immersion to the game. Maybe not necessarily in this tunnel world or this tunnel section, but once we get out of here, um, you just you just have the ability to see more than you normally would. Great for first-person shooters, single player, and I'm sure there's still the debate raging about whether or not this should be used for multiplayer games. In 3D mode, actually, uh, Metro 2033 is one of the more impressive games that I've actually tested, whether or not it's in surround mode or just standard 3D vision. It actually works really well. One of the effects uh, that they implement in uh, this title is involves particles that kind of look like dust particles as they float. Uh, in the air and it actually does a very good job of implementing those in 3D so that you do kind of want to reach out and grab them. Uh, there's one instance of it right there. And again just because the game is so power hungry uh, doing it in surround mode with 3D vision enabled means that it is going to run significantly slower than it would otherwise and uh, you'll probably have to adjust image quality settings down to you know 4800 by 900 and maybe uh, disable anti-aliasing as much as you can that type of thing The snow effects actually do a pretty good job in 3D as well of some of them appearing close and some of them appearing distant.